So recently I've been playing with some addressable LED strips from Atom. Let me show you what they like. I came across these LED strips which are come with a controller system which is preloaded with WLED. Now WLED is a totally open source software, runs on ESP32 and can be completely locally integrated into Home Assistant. So when Ather was kind enough to send this out to me, I really appreciate it, but the video is not sponsored, so I'll give you my entire honest opinion. So having a look at this set, comes with everything included in the case. It's a um, WA controller, 12 volt, 7 amp power supply, so lots of power to power all those addressable LEDs. Now, inside the box, we've got our addressable LED strip. We have two different types of connectors, and I'll show you what's with those two. We have our instruction guide, a little screwdriver. We have some fixing devices for fixing the strip. Um, we have the actual controller itself. And then we have the power supply. So if we just move these to the side quickly. I will show you how this all fits together. So first thing is, have a look at this instruction guide. It's quite important because it shows you what you need to do for connecting the wires for the system. So there's two types of wires. So when you have a look at the LED strip that you've ordered, check to see whether you have the one with the four cables or the three cables and select the appropriate cable for that type of strip. Now, the one I've got here is the four. Now, the interesting thing with the four is that we actually only connect three of the different wires. We're not connecting the fourth one. Now, one thing that I did discover after a bit of a fiddling round was that when I plug this in, the colors on this side do not tie in with the colors on this side. So be very careful. Make sure that you're looking at the colors on this side when you tie it in as to where you want to connect it on your controller. So having a look at your controller, we've got the power in over here. We've got another power supply here if you want. We've got our um, reset button that can be used to reset, which is really useful if you're changing to a new Wi-Fi network. We then have our ground VCC. We have two for each of those. And we have our data one. And that is what we are going to connect the data connector to. So when we have a look at this, if you've got the four wire, you'll see that we're only connecting three of the wires, not all four of them. So we want to connect a positive, a negative, and a data. Now, it is a little bit of confusing because it shows red, black, and green. Now, you do have a red, black, and a green here, but the tricky thing is when I connect this up, you will see that it actually connects up to different colors. So if I plug it in like that, and we click it in over there, you'll see we've actually got white going to black, blue to green, green to red, and red to blue. So what we want to do when we're connecting them up is we want to make sure that we get the right things. So the red over here is going to be going to the VCC. The white is going to be going to the ground, and the green over here is going to be going to the DAT1, the data one. So don't worry about these what colors, just follow it as it goes through and connect it up accordingly. So then plug your power supply in, connect it directly to your controller, and then we go along here and we find that it is displaying a WLED Wi-Fi connection there. So we connect to that, and what that's going to do is then pop up WLED. Um, so it's connected, and we're going to now go in there and we're going to say Wi-Fi settings. We type in our network name and our password and save and connect. So the next step is go along to your configuration on your router, find out the IP address for the WLED that is just connected up, type that into your browser and the WLED dashboard will pop up. First thing we want to do, really important, is go along to config, go along to LED preferences, and we want to select how many LEDs we've got in the strip. So you may not know, you may have to play around with this, but when I first connected mine, it was defaulting to 30 and it was only connecting about a third of the LEDs were bright. So what I need to do is I need to, I'm going to put in 150 because that's what I think I've got. So I go save and that will now save it from here. So once your WLED is all up and running, you just go along here to notifications, new devices, and there we go. So easy. It's pulled in immediately into Home Assistant. 
So we go Submit. Having a look at the WLED inside of Home Assistant, we can click on there. And well, the first thing we can do is we can go along here and you can see there that we have a choice of just a single color or we can go to all of these different um, automations that have already been created. And these are basically LED active patterns that have been created already in this amazing piece of software. And as you see, these are all pulling directly through into Home Assistant. You've got full access to them. You can go basically change the speed of these. You can reverse them. You can um, sync them. So you can sync up multiple different strips. This is an amazing, amazing tool. And honestly, the best possible system that I've found, which is open source, fully connected to Home Assistant. We can also go back into the WLED software itself and um, you can effectively go in here and you can do multiple types of customizations within the system here. Um, you can actually get it to display at the top here. So if I select one of the different types of activities, you will see there that it gives me a little display up at the top there showing me exactly what is going on. But this is an amazing piece of um, software that has been developed and is continually being upgraded. And I would honestly recommend trying this out for yourself. You can build your own one without doing the Atom system. I'll leave a link in the description below to how I've done that using an ESP32. But honestly, the Atom for me is a great way to get started if you don't want to go fiddling around with wires and, and uh, microcontrollers. That's all for me now. Have a great week. Bye then.